When you log into your computer using the username and password, you have one layer of security. Unless you don't have a password, then you have no layer. So if your computer gets lost or stolen, and you've got that password protected, that's a good layer. But if that person who stole it takes it to a computer hacker, they have other devices that they can use to be able to get access or information off of your hard drive. So you may want to add a second layer of security, and that's where BitLocker comes in. BitLocker will help prevent a thief who boots another operating system or runs a software hacking tool from breaking Windows 7 file and system protections or performing offline viewing of files stored on the protected drive. So even if they can go ahead and steal your computer and rip out the hard drive and hook it up to their cybernetic monster with all the wires connected to it and software, it's going to be pretty hard for them to gain access if the drive is encrypted as opposed to if it wasn't encrypted. Now this BitLocker that encrypts the drive was introduced into the Windows Vista operating system. But new to Windows 7 is not only can you encrypt your operating system drive, the main hard drive, the C drive, but you can actually encrypt external drives like USB flash drives or any external hard drive. And again, that's new to Windows 7 and we'll cover that in the next training video. And know that the BitLocker feature is only available on Windows 7 Ultimate and Enterprise. And the average user doesn't use Enterprise, so Basically, if you don't have Windows 7 Ultimate, you won't have access to it. The enterprise is more for corporations or businesses, or what Microsoft calls assurance customers. Okay, to go ahead and encrypt the uh, drive that contains the operating system, the C drive, which if you come up here, double-click on the computer, there's the C drive, and you can see the little Windows logo. That means that this drive contains the operating system. Let's go ahead and close out. And it's really easy to turn on the BitLocker and start the encryption process. You can either do that one of many ways. You can do it the long way, click on the Start button, go to the Control Panel, click on System and Security, go down and click on BitLocker Drive Encryption, or you can click on the Start button, type in the BitLocker Drive Encryption, or come up here, double-click and open up the computer, and right-click on the local C drive there that contains the operating system, and turn on BitLocker itself. I'm going to go ahead and close out. In any case, we'll do it here. Again, there's the C drive over here. Click on its adjacent turn on BitLocker. When I click on it, it starts the wizard. Now, this isn't going to work for me because on my computer, I don't have a compatible trusted platform module TPM security device installed. It's a little chip. So I can't continue with the wizard to help me encrypt the drive and be able to give me the key so I can go ahead and log in with that key. So I'm going to go ahead and click Cancel. And the only options that I really have is I can either get a TPM installed on my computer here, or I can encrypt the operating system drive using a USB key. In other words, when I encrypt the operating system drive, I'm going to have to have a USB key that contains the key. That without that recovery key on the USB key and plugged into the computer, if it doesn't see that, I don't have access to my computer, okay? Now, in order for me to enable BitLocker without the TPM device, let me go ahead and close out of here. Come down here and click on the Start button, and in the Instant Search field, go ahead and type in these letters, GPEDIT, or GPEdit, dot MSC. And then up here you can see it. Click on it, and it opens up the Local Group Policy Editor. So I'm setting up the policy for my computer here, for my group, to be able to go ahead and use a USB key to encrypt my hard drive and save the recovery key on the USB key and not use that chip to store the access key. Again, the TPM security device. So to set this up, let me come down here and hover over that middle bar between the navigation pane and the file list view. And then when you see your pointer turn into arrows in opposite direction, go ahead and click and drag to see more of the navigation pane. We're going from the computer configuration, so if it's collapsed, click on its arrow to turn it down and expand it, to the administrative templates, and then over here in the file list, Go ahead and double click on Windows Components, find BitLocker Drive Encryption, double click on that folder, and then we want to go ahead and double click on Operating System Drives. Here we want to find the Require Additional Authentication at Startup. Go ahead and double click on that. You can see it's been disabled. Go ahead and click on Enabled. And then down below, make sure that the Allow BitLocker Without a Compatible TPM device is checked. And it should be checked when you enabled it, but just double check after you enabled it make sure that this is checked down below so it doesn't require TPM. Go ahead and click OK. Close out. So then we'll go ahead and come up here and try again. Double click on the computer. Right click on the C drive. Go down and turn on BitLocker. And hey, I'm not getting the error. 
and as you can see the computer doesn't appear to have a TPM device we know that so to use BitLocker drive encryption a startup key which will be stored on the USB flash drive is going to be required every time you start the computer because if you don't have that plugged into your computer with the startup key on the USB flash drive then you won't be able to access the computer so the only choice we have to continue with the wizard is clicking on require a startup key and then it prompts us okay well you need a startup key if you don't have one here in the list below go ahead and insert one into one of the USB ports on your computer I'm gonna go ahead and plug one in now that I'd like to use it's installing it it's gonna find it there it is autoplay behind it it's drive L let me close out so I'll select drive L click save and then next it allows me to store a recovery key and explains it here that a recovery key is different from my pin or startup key and it's used to access my files and folders if there's a problem with my computer that prevents me from doing so so be sure to go ahead and either save it to the USB flash drive print it and you can't save it to the C drive that you're encrypting so don't even try you'll get an error I'm gonna go ahead and save my recovery key to the USB flash drive click on it it's gonna be the same key that is gonna be my USB startup key the L drive here click save then I'll go ahead and click next and then here are you ready to encrypt this drive it mentions you can keep working while the drive is being encrypted but of course your computer performance is going to be affected things may be a little bit sluggish or slow it's good to go ahead and run the BitLocker system check make sure that that's checked so as it says it will ensure that BitLocker can read the recovery and encryption keys correctly before encrypting the drive go ahead and insert the USB memory device containing the saved recovery key which is the same key I've got my USB key that needs to be plugged in but I also save the recovery key to that USB key as well so BitLocker is going to go ahead and restart our computer before encrypting and it warns us that this check may take some time I'm going to go ahead and click continue and then it wants to restart now go ahead and click restart now when I go ahead and restart it we're going to log in and wait until we see the encryption in progress prompt from the notification area down below here and it'll take some time and when it's finished you'll say encryption of C drive is complete and then you want to remember that after it's encrypted that you'll need your USB key to boot up your operating system and if you boot up without it then you'll be prompted in the uh, DOS mode to insert the key or to use the recovery key so make sure you've got the USB key and maybe a separate USB key that has that recovery key because I have the recovery key on the same USB key that's required for startup if I lose that one key that I'm toast so I may want to go ahead and print that out or copy that recovery key from this USB drive onto another or store it somewhere safe now that I got my computer restarted if I come down here and click on the little show hidden icons arrow you can come up here and see that the encryption of the C drive is in progress click on it to expand and you can see oh my goodness this is gonna take forever as you recall it's about two to three minutes per gigabyte and that's it the encryption is complete go ahead and close out and then next time when you shut down and restart your computer if you don't have that USB key in there it's not going to start up for you and it'll go ahead and it'll ask you for the USB key or the recovery key in which case you can go ahead and type in all those numbers and then of course if I want to go ahead and undo what I did decrypt it now come down here and click on the start go to the control panel system and security and then to BitLocker drive encryption and of course you can see that the lock is now on the C drive that has the operating system I can turn off BitLocker, suspend protection, or manage it. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. Decrypt the drive. And it's in progress. Let's go ahead and click on it and let's see how fast that can go. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for all my training, please visit me at my website, dreamforce.us.